Hey guys, this is Michael, and today I have a tutorial on how to create this video bar on the bottom of your videos. And this has been a really requested tutorial, so I thought I'd make this for you guys. And it'll look really good on your videos, and I'll even show you how to save it, so you can just put it right into whatever video program you use to edit. So we're going to go into Photoshop and open up a new canvas of 1280 by 720 and then go to the background contents and set it to transparent and hit OK. Then when you have that, we're going to get a medium to dark gray and then go to our rectangle tool over here on the left and we're going to drag a bar right across this layer on the bottom. The size, it's really up to you what size you want it. And then we're going to make a new layer and just put it under it as transparent and then right click on your bar layer and rasterize it and then go into the layer properties go to gradient overlay change the blend mode to multiply the opacity of 50 and then go into your gradient and drag the white bar down to 80 okay and then next we're going to add a pattern it doesn't really matter what you put I like to put this kind of mesh look pattern and then you can just change it to whatever you want, any pattern you want, and then I like to bring the opacity down really low to like 10%, just for a, a smooth effect. And then go up to your outer glow, change it to black, blend mode to normal, size 12, and then go to bevel and emboss, this is, this is the last effect we're gonna do. Size of five, and then bring the opacity of your black one at the bottom here to zero. Change the highlight mode of your white to overlay and the opacity to 50. And that looks really good. Hit OK. And the bar is all set. Now we just have to do the text. So make a new layer. Go to your text tool. Now I have this nice green right here. The code is right here if you want to copy that code. And then I'm using the Cafe Nero font. It's a really good font. It looks really good on anything you make and it looks really good on video bars so you can just put whatever text you want I'm just gonna use channel like I have in the example and you can put your name here that's what most people do and then go into the effects go to gradient multiply opacity 250 will do and then bring the white down on your gradient to 70 that looks really good and then go up to your bevel and emboss size of zero the highlight mode of the white, bring it to overlay, opacity of 50, and then on the bottom, opacity of 50 for the black. Then we're going to add an inner glow, change the color to white, blend mode to overlay, and opacity down to 40%. Then go to your outer glow, color to black, blend mode normal, and the size it varies, I like to do usually size 12 and opacity at 75%, so that looks really good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that so we keep that same layer style, and then just bring the size down to 24, and then edit the text, and we're going to put video for the, the video title, and drag that about, about right there. Duplicate that, Control J, hold Shift, drag it over. Use your text tool to change the text put song because usually there's a song if not you can put like extra info or you can do a subscribe to your channel link and then link in the annotations anything like that and then we're gonna get a new text layer change your color to white make some new text size to 18 and then just put the video title my new speed art and just line that up and it didn't change the color so go to the text highlight the text and then go up here to the color change it to white then go into the blending options add a gradient opacity of 50 bring it down to 70 like normal and then add an outer glow black normal size 8 that's all set I'm just gonna bring that up a little bit with my arrow keys and then control J hold shift drag it over till it snaps to the text and then change the song title you can do whatever the song in this video is by hoodie Allen song for an actress he's a really good artist I would recommend checking him out and then for this font it doesn't have any bullet points or anything so we're just gonna hit space a few times so we get a nice space 
song for an actress. And you can put whatever song you have in there. And then you can do whatever you want with it. And then when you want to save it, this is the last part you have to do. You go to file. Make sure you have a transparent background. This is the key to it. Save for web and devices. PNG 24. And then here it is down here. Click save. And then save it wherever you want to. And then you can just import it into Sony Vegas, After Effects, whatever editor you use. So thanks for watching. Please like this video. That really helps out. And check out my channel. Subscribe if you haven't. I hope you like this. And hope it helps you out. See you guys later. And also, if you missed my previous videos, don't forget to check out my social media icons and logos giveaway. That contains a bunch of awesome logos and icons you guys can use. And also, check out my interface orb tutorial, which teaches you how to create a really good interface orb. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later.